Hello, this is Slice in Asia, and for today's video and story, we'll be heading to the Philippines as there has been a new development related to the Sangli Point International Airport project. Recently, a multinational group of companies was awarded a contract to redevelop the airport, which happens to be located just south of the Philippine capital city of Manila, into a new international gateway for the city of Metro Manila and the Philippines. This story has been reported on the local Philippine press. As the government of the Philippine province of Cavite announced the awarding of the contract to the group, which has been named the SPIA Development Consortium. Previously, with the original proponent status, the SPIA Development Consortium was awarded the contract following a bidding process that took place earlier this year, which included a Swiss challenge, allowing the opportunity for other business groups to make offers before the awarding of the deal. The project worth an estimated 11 billion US dollars, the provincial government of Cavite is turning to this group to develop the airport into premier international gateway for the city of Manila and the Philippines. In the future, it hopes that the airport will provide an alternative gateway for the city of Manila, especially with the current situation of crowding and congestion at the current Manila International Airport. To accomplish the task of building a new mega hub for the city of Manila, the SPI Development Consortium is a group of multinational companies which will be led by the Philippine-based companies of Cavitex Holdings, Yuchenko Group of Companies, and Macro Asia Corporation, which happens to be a part of the Lu Tan Group. Joining the Philippine-based companies are some foreign firms, including the construction arm of the South Korean tech giant Samsung, which has been named the lead engineering procurement and construction contractor. The second firm name was the operator of Munich's airport, Munich Airport International GmbH which will serve as a technical consultant for the operations and maintenance of the airport. Finally, the lead master development planner of the project will be the Hong Kong-based firm Over Arup and Partners. This announcement marks a fresh start for the project, which has been spearheaded primarily by the Cavite provincial government. This happens to be the second bidding process for the airport project, Previously, the project was awarded to a Philippine and Chinese-based consortium, though in 2021, the talks between the company and the province stalled, leading to this new bidding process. For the provincial government of Cavite, it hopes that when completed, the final project in the airport will have up to four runways. At present, the area does have the airfield, which has recently been upgraded for limited commercial air traffic. Though after being finalized, it hopes that the initial operations will start around 2028 with two runways and the capacity for around 75 million passengers. Before construction starts, the consortium will be signing the joint venture and development agreement with the Cavite provincial government, which is expected to take place by October. Then the consortium will have one and a half years to finalize the design and business plan and the financial closing for the project before the construction can start. This is a positive sign and development for the project, which will further heat up the race to develop a new international airport for the city of Manila. In direct competition with this airport project, there is also the new Manila International Airport project led by the San Miguel Corporation. Regarding the Sangley Point Airport project, the multinational firms involved in the project do boast some impressive projects, both within the Philippines and abroad. For those familiar with the Manila and Cavite area, Cavitex led the development of the Manila-Cavite Expressway, connecting the Philippine capital city and the province just south of it. As for the foreign firms that will be involved, the operator of the Munich International Airport can boast of having one of the most highly rated airports in the world. Then Samsung's construction firm has been involved in construction projects around the world, including building some of the world's tallest buildings such as the Burj Khalifa in Dubai and the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, though it also boasts some aviation projects such as the Terminal 1 at Seoul Incheon and the extension at Changi Airport, along with various construction projects within South Korea. Finally, the lead design firm Over Arup and Partners has a portfolio of global projects including airports. Among the projects that the firm has been involved in include the new Terminal 2 at New York's LaGuardia Airport, along with the Mactan Cebu International Airport and the Jewel at Singapore's Changi Airport. This likely could excite some Filipino travelers and those who do travel to and from the country frequently. 
However, with both groups right now going through business and legal proceedings, it's right now a race of who can get through the proceedings and get started with construction first. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia, Asia Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.